Hello, my fellow Mechians. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, it is I, Red the Super Namek, and I am here today to review uh, 2016 and share to you guys my New Year's resolutions for the year of 2017. So, let's get started. This year has really been a year of the uh, RPGs. I started off replaying all the Pokemon games. Um, I played through Red, and then I went to, straight to Crystal, and then to Emerald, and then to Platinum, and then to Black and White 2. I didn't play Black and White 1. And then X, or I should say Y, sorry, Y. And then I replayed uh, Alpha Sapphire. <clears throat> and all this was for the new Pokemon game, Sun and Moon, which I did get Moon. Uh... So I completed all the Pokemon games earlier than I thought, and this was in the summer. And kind of ironic, because right after I beat the Pokemon games, I played another RPG. And that was a pretty damn well underrated game. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Crystal Bearers for the Wii. It's a, I find it to be a really good game. It didn't sell that well, I don't think. But it should... People should play it really damn good it has a good it has a right story it has a kind of open world kind of like zelda that's why i like it so much probably just because it's so much like zelda and the game game play mechanics is pretty cool so uh yeah um and right after that uh i went to yard sailing uh, one week uh a few weeks after i beat that game and then I found a copy of Final Fantasy XII. Uh, I didn't go through too far into that game. I only got to the one part where the main character is like in prison or something. Then they fight some guys in like a ring. And then after that I just kind of stopped playing. It wasn't really, I didn't have a lot of fun with it. <clears throat> it wasn't really a game I would really like. And then after that, this, this is in, what, when was this? October, I went to uh, a Comic Con and I picked up a copy of Final Fantasy VII. Oh boy, where do I even begin? This game is like my favorite game of 20. Okay. This is my favorite non new game of 2016. 2016, that's right. Basically, this game is like. A really really damn good game like oh my gosh like it quickly became my favorite one of my favorite games ever probably next to a cramp time like they're on par with each other those are my two favorites like there's so many good parts of Final Fantasy 7 like the whole beginning when just the whole like starting of the just the whole beginning of the game was super well done it's probably one of the best parts of the game, in my opinion. From the time you start the game to the time you leave Megar, that whole little part there is really good. My favorite probably being the part when you uh, uh, infiltrate uh, Shinrox HQ. That was pretty fun. But uh, yeah. And another really good part where was uh, when you had to. Uh, <clears throat> You're at Junon Harbor, and you had to sneak into uh, Rufus's uh, welcoming some ceremony, I think it was. And you had to dress up as a soldier, like one of the normal soldiers, not the big soldiers, you know what I mean? Whoever played it would get what I mean. Anyway, um, you have to like sneak in, and then you have to do all these like, uh, uh, all these like uh, moves or like drills or whatever. And, uh, I f messed up really bad, but, you know, the game doesn't criticize you for it too bad. But yeah, just like, <laughs> it's so funny. But yes, I did beat the game, so, you know, that, that, was, that was a good game. And then, after I, beat, after I beat the game, I got the movie for Final Fantasy VII, which was Advent Children. And that was a pretty good game, uh, not game, that was a pretty good movie. Uh, kind of boring at parts, but really, really good endings, like uh, fights, ending fights. 
with uh, Sephiroth and Cloud and all that. Um, after after that, I picked up a copy of Final Fantasy X slash Ten Two HD Remastered on the PS4. Um, uh, I didn't get too far. Uh, the cheesy voice acting is really the thing that got me. Uh, I mean, I'm still playing through it, it's just, uh, kind of cheesy, in my opinion. Uh, like, I'm, I'm playing it time after time, kind of, on and off, I'm not, I'm not, I mean, I'm a few hours into it, but, uh, yeah. And, finally, uh, a few weeks ago, like, when I'm recording this, I don't know when this is coming up, but as the day I'm recording this, uh, maybe two weeks ago, I picked up a copy of Final Fantasy XV. I beat it in two days, and I've been trying to 100% the game ever since. It is so amazing. Oh my goodness, this game is so good. The open world, the story, oh, especially the ending. Oh my gosh, the ending was so good, and there's so many cool plot twists. And Oh my god, this game is so good. I don't want to spoil it too bad for anyone who is, uh, hasn't played the game and really wants to yet. So, uh, yeah. Those are pretty much all the games I played. Oh, actually, no, I, did, I lied. And also there was Pokemon Moon. I, I, I beat the game. I chose Rowlet as my starter, but then I quickly got rid of him after I got uh, a few other guys on my team. It just became too much of a nuisance. Um, yeah, it was alright, it was alright, it, it was alright, it was in one of the better games, in my opinion, Pokemon Y, and Pokemon Platinum, and Pokemon Soul Silver are some of the, like, probably the best games that Pokemon has to offer, in my opinion, but Moon was, Moon, Moon was alright, it was alright, I mean, the post game is better than Y, I can tell you that much, <laughs> Y had nothing uh, so yeah, <clears throat> those are uh, pretty much all the games I played in 2016. Um, oh, uh, no, I actually played through Twilight Princess HD. That was alright. Better graphics, it's pretty much the same game. I did play in hero mode though, so that was fun. Um, yeah, is there any other games I think of? Uh, nope, that, that's basically all of them. That is all of them. Alrighty. <clears throat> And also, Dragon Ball Z Universe 2. That was a game I play a lot, too. It's pretty good. It's alright. It isn't a great game, but it's alright. It's a good time waster. Um, so... Something else that really big happened in 2016 was... The Dragon Ball Super Arcs. They've been getting so much better. Uh, at the beginning of 2016, we had the bas basically the ending of the Resurrection of F arc. Uh, I really did not like that saga at all. It was pretty, pretty, uh, pretty uh, boring, and the animation was really bad. Or I should say the the art. I don't. It's not, I think I don't think it's right to say animation. I think it's just art. That's off on that that whole arc. Uh, I mean, they had lots of potential with, like, uh, showing off scenes that weren't in the movie, but it didn't. And it just introduced Ginyu again, for just for him to be killed off very easily. <sighs> yeah, that, that the whole thing was a mess. But the Universe 6 arc, oh boy, that was good. That was really good. Uh, I don't think there was a single fight I didn't like. Um, the best... Two fights, in my opinion, were the Piccolo and Frost fights. Frost, yeah. Piccolo and Frost fight. Uh, when like Pic Piccolo had to use the special beam cannon, but he had to charge it, so he was like keep on dodging Frost's attack, even though Piccolo lost because that stupid poison, the like, cheater little, whatever. And the other good fight was obviously Goku versus Hit. Uh, show it up, finally brought back uh, Kaioken, so that was cool. 
it was pretty cool how he could use it on top of Super Saiyan uh, Blue or Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. That was pretty cool. <clears throat> it also introduced Hit, which was... I actually really like Hit. He's fun to play in his universe, too. That's that's a thing. But I like, I like his character. It's just... I mean, like, you don't get to see much of him, but it's, like, better than what we got most of. It's, his, Hit's character is better than most, like, all the other uh, tournament fighters in that arc. Uh... The only guy who I would say is better character wise is probably Champa and Vados or Vados or whatever you want to call however you want to say it. But uh yeah, that's the Universe 6 arc. And then the Goku Black arc. That was a good arc. Uh there's a lot of mystery when we first heard about it. It was like, what? There's an evil Goku? <gasps> I know, it must be Gohan, right? Or uh, Goten. Mmm, no, I, I, no. I seen that floating around on the internet. No, no, that's not what it was. I never believed that. It was kind of stupid. But, uh, and then there was, like, a whole Kaioshin realm. That was pretty cool. And, like, how they're basically gods and whatever. And how Zamasu basically was, like, a, like, a, a god turned bad. I kind of like that whole gimmick. Or, not gimmick. Uh, that whole, uh, uh, element to that whole arc. That was pretty cool. And, uh, I actually really liked how the arc ended. I think it was, like, I think it really showed off, uh, uh, the threat for the next arc coming out. Because, um, I, uh, I don't want, should I spoil? Okay, spoiler alert right here. Spoiler alert. Stop, uh, stop watching now. If you haven't seen the end of the Goku Black arc in Dragon Ball Super. Basically, in the end, uh, Zamasu becomes basically <clears throat> becomes the universe, quote unquote, because his body like got destroyed. And where does a body, where does a soul go after its immortal body gets destroyed or immortal soul, whatever? It basically, apparently, in Dragon Ball, it becomes the universe. Whoa! So it becomes so bad that uh. Uh, Zeno, Zeno, uh, how do you say his name? Lord, the Lord of Everything, as what they call him, basically has to destroy the entirety of the whole Future Trunks timeline in order to, like, kill Zamasu. So, you know, that was pretty cool. And just that just, like, shows off, uh, like, the, for the next arc, like, uh, we've had, like, scans or whatever and trailers. For the next arc, basically, uh, what we know so already, we don't know too much. It's like if a team, if a universe fails at the uh, tournament, the next arc, and the tournament in the next arc, if a team fails, um, their universe gets destroyed, and we can, we know that that will happen because of the end of the Goku Black arc, because we just saw Zeno, or the Lord of Everything, do it himself. So, you know. It just shows off what he can do, and like how awesome he is. Like I do, kind of find it kind of cheap. How Goku was like, "Oh no, what do we do?" Pulls out a button, presses it. Oh, look, our problem solved, right? Yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I like that whole arc. I, I I liked Goku Black as a character, but then as soon as they fused, it was like, this is kind of lame. I miss I miss the normal Goku Black, not when they fuse. When they fuse, they look kind of stupid. Uh, whatever. But uh, and they kind of wasted uh, Vegito. Uh, Vegito is that his name? Vegito, yeah. Vegito is uh, uh. They wasted Vegito in that whole arc too. He was only there for like half an episode, and then he just kind of popped out of existence. Because of new retcon, because you know those are fun. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm excited for 2017 about because the uh, new arc looks to be really good. It's basically a multi, as every single universe fighting each other in a tournament, and there's ten fighters, and it's pretty cool because Android 17 is coming back. Yay! You know the guy everyone forgot about, and probably didn't expect to come back. 
Yeah, that guy. Yay. Anyway, <clears throat> so yeah, that's 2016 in a nutshell. <clears throat> My New Year's resolutions on YouTube. Uh, those, okay, I have three big ones. My first one is creating more frequent videos. I realize that I've been going months at a time without uploading a video, and I feel like shit for it. So, you know, I'm going to try to at least upload once a week, um, maybe two a week. I'm going to do as much as you can, but I, I, I can guarantee you one, at least one week. So, uh, like, that can be anything from, like, um, uh, Gmod videos or uh, just uh, Dragon Ball or Pokemon discussions or whatever. <clears throat> and my second thing is for creating higher quality videos. Now I have Adobe Premiere, so I can actually do stuff. Because I used to only have Windows Movie Maker, and that sucked. Uh, that was a pain in the ass to use. So, you know, I can make videos faster and higher quality. Uh, yeah, and uh, I'm probably going to be doing more of the Dragon Ball uh, Super slash Z discussions. And maybe some Pokemon, but I really want to get into more Dragon Ball stuff. And I actually have a few videos that I'm thinking about making. So, you know. Stay tuned for that. And my third thing is to, if I make enough videos, I'm going to try to get up to 70 subs by the start of next year, 2018. Uh, that's my goal. I don't know if I'll make it because I don't, don't have a lot right now. But uh, if I, I believe that if I make enough videos and quality, good quality videos, I think I might be able to. But uh, yeah. That, that's, uh, that's about it. That's my review of 2016 and New Year's resolutions. So, uh, yeah, this has been Red the Supernamic, and I'm signing out.